Now, gentlemen, two fighters next to the young ladies. Okay. And in Rios, Bam Bam, giving me a hard time, man. One of the best trainers in the game. Toshina Kajima. Okay. How, how great uh, Juan looks, how, you know, how he's going to be on Saturday night in prediction. It's going to be a the legendary Roy Jones Jr. I'm a big, huge fan, so this interview is going to be biased, obviously. You know it. <laughs> Magnificent. Uh, there are no losers tonight. The sport wins, the fans win. Oh, uh, yeah, five fans. King J, King J, 323 Productions. We're live here in Las Vegas for the Pacquiao vs. Marquez 4 fight. We've been around a week. We made a great video for all you five fans. We got great coverage, great interviews. We did it all for you fans. So definitely subscribe on YouTube, King J323. Follow on Twitter, King J323. Instagram, King J323. Let's get into this video. It's for all you five fans. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Everybody. Um, first, I want to thank God for everything that He gave to me, the health, and all of us. And I want to thank uh, Bob Barron and Top Rank Promotion, King James um, we can be, we cannot be, uh, I can't be Manny Pacquiao if you're not uh, supporting us. So thank you so much for your support. And this fight, the fourth fight with Marquez is going to be a good fight. And I believe, and I know that he trained hard. Um, he worked hard for this fight and he, he needs to prove something for this fight. And I'm ready for that. And um, I'm hoping for, for a good fight and more action in the ring on Saturday so that uh, people will enjoy it and uh, no more doubts in the, in, in the mind that we're uh, trying to do this, this uh, fourth fight and I'm so focused for this fight and you know, uh, it's God's hand all what happened on Saturday so we pray, I pray also to, the, to all other cards and uh, there's a, a, a lot of uh, good fighters who are going to fight on my other card so you better watch that on Saturday, so it's going to be uh, a great fight on Saturday. So thank you so much to all of you, and have a good day. Good afternoon, everybody. I feel very happy for being here again for the fourth fight with Manny. Thanks, Bob Arum. Thanks, HBO. Thanks for Team Pacquiao. Thanks, Sanfer, for supporting me. I want to, I want to give another, another great fight. This is, this is the most important for this fight. This is Manny Pacquiao knows me, and I know him. This is this fight is was a will be another war. Everybody watching another war because because he knows me. I, I know him, and I, I I want to invite everybody to watch another another great fight, another great fight because I prepare myself very really hard because I think this this fight uh, will be a war again. And I want to invite, pay, pay, pay this fight because because this fight was another war. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Here with the exciting Brandon Rios, <laughs> Bam Bam, giving me a hard time, man, <laughs> for like five minutes. Uh, yeah, you know, it's just, just who I am. I like have a good personality. No, that's good. That's good, man. Okay, so uh, you just came from the final press conference. Could we get like a prediction or uh, your thoughts on how it's gonna go down Saturday? It's gonna. I think it's gonna be a good fight. I think they're both gonna get knocked down. Uh, I give uh, Pacquiao. I think Pacquiao's gonna win a split decision. And you, you are pretty much slated to fight Pacquiao next. That's what Bob and pretty much a lot of people are saying. Right. So, uh, hopefully, I get the winner. You know, I'm just waiting in line. That's why I'm here today to check out the fight. So hopefully, uh, they give me a chance, an opportunity to fight one of them and fight one of the best out there because I want to be the best. Thank you so much, champ. Hey, and uh, your fight at uh, Home Depot Center, man. Oh, that was beast, man. That was. It was a fight, you know. I was in very in tremendous shape. I trained very hard for that fight, and look, it paid off. Everybody seen the what I can do at 140 now. Yeah, you made all boxing fans proud, man. That's that's what we need, man. We need those beautiful wars. I do glorious. it for 
my fans and everybody else there. Uh, that's what I do for. I don't do it for my players. I do it for my fans because I want them to watch. When they watch my fight, they're going to watch an action fight. Absolutely. Thanks so much, champ. Thank you very much. Robert Garcia, how you doing? I'm doing good. Now, uh, were you, were you just, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Were you at the press conference? Yes, we were. Okay. We were I saw Brent. I didn't yes, see you. Okay. I was there too. Uh, what's your thoughts, uh, real quick, uh, Saturday night? How's it going to go down? Uh, it's going to be a great fight. You know, we, we've already seen three great fights, and uh, we just can't get tired of it. Uh, I think the fourth fight is going to be as good or even better. They're both, uh, they're both having their minds to come out and prove something. Uh, and win convincingly, so it's going to be a hell of a fight. I just can't wait to see the fight. Okay, can you give a quick prediction if you had to? If you had to put, you know what? it's a great fight. I think there's there's no losers in this fight. Yeah. Uh, uh, whoever wins, uh, it's, 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 it's going to be on top of the world, of course. But uh, I, in reality, I can't pick a winner because uh, they are both great fighters, and uh, we we are going to see a great fight. Is your thing? It's probably going to be another close uh, yeah, it back be and forth. Yeah. I think so. Okay. I think it should be close. Yes. And now, real quick, uh, your brother. I'm a huge fan of your brother as well as you, uh, Michael. My, Mikey Garcia. Is he here? Is he coming this weekend? Mikey's, he's coming in tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the capital of Thailand? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, I, I think, I, I talked to you on Twitter a little bit, I think people are avoiding him. Literally. I mean, real talk, man. You know, I mean, I think he should have a title by now. I think he should have defended it at least once or twice by now. Well, so. you know, it, well, we've been patient and, yeah. uh, and I think it, things happen for a reason. Now we already have the fight uh, for January 19th against Salido. Uh, won't be an easy fight. January against Salido. Okay. Okay. So this is no more pulling out. Yeah, hey, you know, my hand hurts. The, hey, you know? They're, they're going to announce it tonight. I okay. do press conference tonight. So so that's why Mike is going to be here tonight. Uh, but uh, it's going to be a great fight. You know, Salido is the best at, uh, at the division. And I think to be to be the best, you got to beat the best. Right. And, uh, Salido is the best. So we'll, we'll, we'll be ready for Salido. Now it's going to be you. It's it's, it's like you and uh, is it your father? You both are kind of. Like, yes, yes. You both are kind of his trainer. Yes, pretty my much, father yeah. is actually with him every day. Right. Uh, uh, every day I come in, uh, when, once this fight starts uh, getting closer, I come in with sparring partners and everything. And for this fight, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be with Mikey every day. Awesome. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you. Look who I found. You know, I always wondered. Good. Thank you so much. Who the hell is this, you know, this Asian man always in, you know, Juan Manuel Marquez's corner. Nobody ever answers the question for me, so I had to find out myself. <laughs> so he's very, you know, very kind to do a quick interview with us all of the uh, fight fans here. So if you ever seen 24-7 uh, or any of uh, Marcus's training uh, videos, you often see uh, this man in the background. You see him in the corner, uh, you know, walking uh, Juan to the ring. And, uh, you know, I, I would definitely, you know, like to put him on camera and, you know, uh, have him answer, you know, a lot of the mis mystery behind <laughs> who he is. So can, can you say, well, what your name is, sir? Toshin Nakajima. Okay, and uh, you what? You are part of Marquez's team. Yeah, I was working with him for uh, like uh, eleven years. Eleven years. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay. Do you work with uh, both uh, him and his brother, or just one? Uh, Ra Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I was. Both Raphael and one. Okay. And then what is your role exactly in the uh, in the Marquez team? Yeah, I met first. I met with Nash Bernstein. Okay. And I have boxing gym of Romance. Romance Boxing Gym okay, yeah. in Japan. Wow. The same name. And then we met. I met with him, from Maria Marquez. Okay, so you are uh, you are a trainer then? Yeah, Basically? I was. Yeah. Okay, so you are. Uh, no, I, 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 I have boxing gym in Japan. Boxing gym in Japan, mm -hmm. but your role in the Marquez team is you are like an assistant trainer. Is yeah. that okay? You're a, do you do strength and conditioning or just strictly no, training? I, I, I did. I did catch catch the punch of him. I, I, I was catching, but I how do you say? Oh, the uh, you're doing the, the, the mitts, the mitts. You were doing yeah. the mitts with uh. Well, okay, and you hurt your shoulder. Uh -huh. Okay. So it now I cannot. You know, it it seems you know you know we're, a lot of us were big uh, Marquez fans. You your relationship with Marquez is very close. Like you guys are really mm -hmm. good friends. Is that is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, I remember, uh, I don't want to get you in trouble or Marcus in trouble, but I think you guys were playing around. Remember, like, uh, maybe like five, six years ago, you're playing around with uh, Marcus. You're taking some yeah. funny pictures. Do you remember, <laughs> Do you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. What are, what are you guys just having fun? Yeah, or I know. What? That's, 
what's what's <laughs> yeah yeah but what's the uh, obviously you're just having fun you're being funny but what yeah. were you guys just at a party or something or what no, what was just like uh, two minutes okay I'll just, do just a, joking just joking okay yeah. were you I don't know why there is the <laughs> internet I don't know why yeah yeah no it, it became uh, very I think most people thought it was funny but they still don't know what the hell you know <laughs> yeah. so you guys are just joking around having fun you guys were at a party or something or this was not party. Just thinking, hey, let's uh -huh. be funny, let's do. Okay, yeah. and then it's personal, but then for some reason it got to the. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know why. Okay, no, so no you. Problem. I have wife. He has wife. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody is obviously <laughs> nobody is. But this is a good opportunity to uh -huh. clarify, yeah. to clear, because you know nobody ever <laughs> explained. You know, even who you. I always want to know who you are. You know, and so are you. Uh, do you work with any other boxes or just? Mostly is is uh, Juan Marquez, mostly no, I, or I have boxing in Japan. Yeah, too. what are some of the you have Japanese boxers as well? What are some of the Japanese boxers you work with? If you can please. I have two champions now, and one OPBF featherweight champion. Okay. And WBO as a Pacific champion, and one Japanese my boxer training with Nacho in Mexico. He will I be see. a champion next year. What are their uh, yeah. names so the fans Shoki, can? Shoki Sakai. He is awesome. famous in Mexico. Awesome. Already. So you live in both Mexico and Japan, uh -huh. and you're you split up yeah. from back and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, a final uh, question: How do you see the fight going uh, Saturday night? Obviously, your team Marcus, so you want your man to win. But how do you? Yeah, if I've, you have to make an honest prediction. I think. I think. It will be KO. KO. Mm -hmm. Marquez will uh, KO man. Yeah, I hope. Hope so. Okay. I hope so. Late round or middle? I or don't know. You don't know. Maybe 10, 11. You know, Marquez is very. He's a very talented, very technical mm -hmm. counter puncher. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, will he give up the counter punching and just go for the KO? Do mm -hmm. you think, or is he gonna? No, I He's going to more aggressive. More aggressive. Fight. Yeah, okay. Fight. So no matter what, it's going to be exciting. Bottom line. Yeah, on I Saturday think. night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. I really no appreciate problem. you taking the time. Thank Best you. of luck Saturday. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so you. much. How great uh, Juan looks, how you know how he's gonna be on Saturday night. In prediction. It's gonna be a good fight. Uh, Juan Marquez looks wonderful. He, uh, he we did a good job. Pacquiao looks well as well. So we it's gonna be another word. And once again, it's gonna be one of those fights that people would always remember. You know. So are you satisfied with training completely, or you feel he could have done a little better? Or? No, I'm done. I did my best. He's ready to go. Yeah. I mean, so he's ten out of ten. He's he's ready to go. Saturday. I would say probably twelve. Okay. Predi prediction? Woo! Can you get a prediction? Victory, Marquez, Mexico. We go all the way. Woo! I do want to say this. I want to have, uh, give my condolences to the people that die in Philippines for the uh, hurricane that just happened a few days ago. My condolences. Thank you. Thank you. Dodge has always been a favorite of mine. <laughs> Roger always is a favorite. I, and when his brother, uh, Floyd Sr., came out of prison, he lived in my office practically. Uh, you're kidding. <laughs> I've always so been close with me. He fought plenty of fights for me. Uh -huh. Which fights did you promote? What? Which one of the What's biggest ones you remember? For what? For him. Oh, fuck, I'm 81 years old. I can't <laughs> remember. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Almost everything. <laughs>
the legendary Roy Jones Jr. I'm a big, huge fan, so this interview is going to be biased, obviously. You know it. You are. Uh, I saw you just a couple minutes ago. You were uh, showing Harold Letterman something. You were like going to the body. Can you explain yeah. what the hell? We got that on video, so can you explain what the hell is well, going on there? He was trying to ask me how could either fighter go to the body without getting caught to the head. Ah, I was telling him that the small thing about a body shot on an orthodox fighter on right hand is that's the safest punch. You do the straight right to the body right. or the straight left to the body. Because for him to counter you, he has to come in or come forward for his way to come forward. How you gonna come forward with that kickstand? He can't come forward. So he can't counter. He gotta either step off of that and try to counter, or he got he can't step with his body. Your body can't step a punch. Your head can step, but your body can't do that. Gotcha. So you shouldn't miss, and there should be no way to guy can counter you. So did he get it? It seems like he showed it over and over again, though. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're here for the big uh, Pacquiao Marquez 4 right. fight. Uh, you know, the word robbery comes around. A lot of people thought Pacquiao got robbed against Bradley. A lot of people thought Marquez got robbed against uh, Pacquiao. Yeah. And when we think about robbery, we, we often think about... Olympic for me. We think about you. So let me show you about robbery, first of all. I don't call the Pacquiao Marquez's robbery because those are opinion matter. They come down that it's so close to it's a matter of what 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 a judge likes. Some judges like aggression, some, some judges like boxing. So right. it all depends on what the judge is like. So right. I wouldn't call that a matter of robbery because the rounds are so close that you really can't tell sometimes. Right. But the Bradley fight was definitely a robbery. Okay. But you you were definitely robbed against I was the, definitely robbed. the Korean those guy. Two guys, those two were definitely robbed. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so what does that do though for a fighter who's coming off of a recent robbery, do, do they really no, want it to? No, it doesn't do nothing to him because if it bothered him that bad, he went back and fought the kid again. It ain't bothered him at all because he knows it's a robbery. You feel me? So, and Timothy Bradley didn't do it, so it's not Timothy Bradley's fault, so it's like a pack out. Going to get Tim Bradley for it, you can't blame Tim Bradley for it. He didn't do it, the judges did it. You understand right. what I'm Whereas in my case, Montel Griffin faked like he was down. And it disqualified me. That was your doing. That was total BS, by that's, the way. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> but he did that. So that's why I punished him for that. I, would, right. I couldn't punish Park Sehun because I went to the back and asked the Korean kid, do you think you want to fight? He said, no, I know I didn't win. I said, well, he lifted you up. He, li yeah, he but, physically but, but, lifted but you up and fight, said, yeah. I asked him, he said, no, I know I didn't win. I said, thank right. you. That was good. I can't say nothing else to him about it. Yeah. So and I'm he lifted you up and he rose to your hand and he said, this is the guy who really won. Yeah, exactly. you know? And right. he still won't give you gold medal back. You went on to be uh, a famous, you know, multi-millionaire celebrity. Uh, what, what did he ever go on? I mean, he just started coaching the amateur team. He didn't want oh, to fight Oh, so no you, you kind of communicate him through uh, One time I talked to him, but he didn't fight no more. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so. You know, when we think about pound for pound rankings, you know, oftentimes Pacquiao, even Marquez, and let's throw in Mayweather, they've been on top of the pound for pound rankings. You have been on top of the pound for pound rankings for a long time. And when you were, when you fought, there was no question. You destroyed, utterly destroyed. I mean, it wasn't even, there was, you can't even argue to give even rounds. At all. At all. So, with that being said, why, why is it, why is it, uh, what, what do you think, honestly, like, why is it that, your speed, your power, I mean, why don't we see that? To, and a lot of fighters try to emulate you, but they end up getting hurt, they end up getting losing. Why, what, 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 was it just natural God-given talent? Is it just, you know, your father was so hard on you, you know, you brought the best out, like, what mostly, is it? Mostly natural God-given talent, along with a lot of things that God gave me. So it's like, if you don't look at that whole situation, and like, when I started boxing, my dad taught me a lot of good techniques, a lot of good strategies, but also God gave me guys to learn from. So I watched, like, the top, seven, eight, maybe nine guys as a kid and figured out what they did best. Interesting. And I learned to do what they did best because I wanted to be an entertainer that could do everything but also entertain you while I'm doing it all. So that's what made me so much better than all of my foes. Most of my foes follow one person. Like right now you see kids that follow Floyd Mayweather. Right. Floyd does one thing well, he fights kind of shoulder well. Exactly. But offensively, he's not really a bad threat. He don't exactly. throw four, five, and six punch combinations. Where you were, where you, where cause you I, had. Because I copied everything. I didn't exactly. copy one thing. I copied a lot of styles and created one style. They copy one style that's leaving a lot of things out, so it's gonna make it very difficult for them to be as productive as I was in that. Okay, are you allowed to give a prediction about Saturday? I can. Um, but you'd rather my, not? Well, my prediction is this. Whoever goes out and takes control early is gonna win the fight. However, I feel like if more kids can punch the body, it will give him a better chance. Uh, if he goes out and exposes himself more, it's going to also give Pacquiao a better chance to knock him out. But for some reason, this fight it seems like Marquez has his head on better, and I think Marquez may get lucky for this fight. Awesome. Now, final, final question. I know you're big into fitness. You have a lot of charities uh, promoting fitness and health. Can you break, I mean, you've been known to have one of the best physiques in all of, all of athletes, not even just boxing. 
Can you just quickly, uh, final question, can you just break down like your general routine for, for you know, fighters, at, yeah, athletes who want that, you know, well, Roy Jones? I got five Fs. I got five don'ts. When I go on my diet for my training camp, I do about six to eight weeks. No fried food, no sweets, no dairy products, no bread, and no red meat. You do those five things, you'll find yourself and work out with it, you'll find yourself in some Roy Jones type shape. Awesome. Can you just throw like a real quick routine though, like what you actually did push up wise, well, sit up wise? I know you did I, a lot of I abs. I do push ups, I do sit ups, I do the wheel, um, I do a lot of running. Shadow boxing, heavy bag, double in bag, speed bag, I do a lot of all that stuff, but mainly do something for your abs, two or three things for your abs, two or three things for your arms, and one or two things for your legs, and you'll be good. Be good. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Uh, this victory, I think the revolution made justice to us. And uh, this victory is not only my victory, this victory is for the entire country of Mexico. I feel very, very happy. Well, we saw magnificence tonight. Just sheer magnificence. They fought three times, 36 rounds, 108 minutes, maybe two, three points of separation, and then they come tonight and give you an epic battle that people will talk about for years, for decades, and maybe forever in the history of boxing. Two great, great fighters, superior fighters. Give it all, and look what happens. Just magnificent. Uh, there are no losers tonight. The sport wins, the fans win, and the great Manny Pacquiao and the great Juan Manuel, Juan, 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 that, that, that great Juan Manuel Marquez, he looked good too. Magnificent night, and uh, we're going to look forward to another one, hopefully. Thank you so much.